This video will demonstrate how to recover a deleted job definition in the Enterprise Manager. We'll see how to do this, as well as the Enterprise Manager parameter that controls the number of versions that are kept. So let's look at our job that's going to be deleted. Here we see a job called deleted. I'm going to select it, right click, and delete it. Let's go ahead and check this in and then close the workspace once it's checked in. Let's open a fresh blank workspace and make sure that our job really has been deleted. There we are, fresh workspace. Let's load the folder. And there's our folder. Let's select it and load. There we see no job. So let's close this workspace and look at how to recover that deleted job. What we want to do first is go to Tools on the ribbon and select Versions. In this dialog, First, we select our data center, our control M server. And then we can select the date. This is the date that we last had it. If time is checked here, you can uncheck it. Let's use the advanced filter to try and locate it by the job name. So let's try Dell, and then we can use a star as a wildcard Click OK and apply. So it's found two jobs. Let's look at these. That one was at 408, that one's at 401. So let's recover the later job. So we select it with the checkbox and click Restore. It just takes a second or two and we'll see our job in its folder in a fresh workspace. So let's go ahead and close this versions window and just check we have the right job here. That looks correct. So we can go ahead and check this in. It'll be written back to the enterprise manager. So that's how to recover the job. Now let's look at the parameter that controls this. And this parameter is called VM versions number to keep and you can change this through the Configuration Manager. So let's take a look. Select the, the Enterprise Manager, Systems Parameter, and Advanced. And we can use the Name field to filter. We can just type VM, and we see it at the bottom there. So double-click that, and we see the default value is 2. So we can enter, say, 4 here and save it. It'll now say four versions. We see this is a manual refresh, so let's close this, recycle the GUI server to make the setting take effect. Now, one thing with this parameter is that we recommend that you set this value to 30 or less. This concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.